Hey everybody, I'm Chris from Aruva and it is time to talk about dry matter basis. Now what dry matter basis really means is the measurement of something after all the moisture has been removed. What you will find actually people talk more about the percentage of dry matter basis. Now in this case, we are gonna talk about that and we'll talk about it in terms of phosphorus because that's the one that people generally need to know about. So what I'm gonna do is show you how the measurement actually works. This is a can of cat food. We're gonna pretend it's a can of cat food and it's completely full of water. And right now there's nothing in it that isn't water. So what is the percentage of anything on a dry matter basis? Well, it's zero because there's no dry matter in here. Now let's say I add a unit of phosphorus. What is the percentage of phosphorus on a dry matter basis? Well, it's 100% because of all the dry matter in there, all of it is phosphorus. I'm going to lower the percentage of phosphorus in here without actually changing the amount of phosphorus. And I'm gonna do that by adding a filler. And one popular filler in the pet food industry is powdered cellulose. So what is the percentage of phosphorus on a dry matter basis? Well, now it's 50% because half the dry matter in here is phosphorus. I'm gonna lower that percentage again. More powdered cellulose. What's the percentage now? 33%. I'm gonna lower it again. Now the percentage of phosphorus on a dry matter basis is 25%. And so you can see how the percentage can drop without the actual amount of phosphorus changing. Here we have our can of cat food. Everything's in it. Now you're gonna say, well, hold on, there's kind of a lot of phosphorus in there, which I would say, yeah, because in this scenario, we're not using a boneless cut of meat, which unfortunately is pretty common in this industry. There's a lot of phosphorus in there and we need to get the percentage of phosphorus down. Well, how are we gonna do it? What we're going to do just like we did in the first example we're going to add a filler and in this case we're going to be using once again powdered cellulose now we've dropped it by half right now it's 50 percent more powdered cellulose now what's the percentage 33 percent notice a couple things that are happening here one every time i add powdered cellulose the percentage of phosphorus on a dry matter basis drops, but the actual amount stays the same. Also, every time I add the filler, what happens? We lose water. Now remember what we're supposed to be doing here. We're building a food for a cat. Now cat is an obligate carnivore that needs to hydrate through meat. Why would I do anything to pull moisture out of that food? Well, the only reason that would happen is because if I was forced to do it, because I was not using boneless ingredients. Now you might say, that doesn't seem like a very good way to do it, to which I would say, I agree. Now let's do it the Waruva way. Here's our can of cat food again. It's completely full of moisture. Now it's time to add all the ingredients, including the meat, which will of course include some phosphorus. Now, as we know, normally the next step would be to do what? Add filler, but we're not gonna add filler. And for two reasons, one, Maruva doesn't believe in fillers. And two, we don't need to use any. Why? Because we're using boneless cuts of meat. And as we know, phosphorus is one of the major building blocks of bone. So if you're using a boneless cut, you're naturally going to be at a much lower phosphorus level. That's the Maruva difference. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. You can always check out the website, of course, with tons of nutrition information, but you can also call us or email us or even talk to us on social media.